Hello, today I'm going to show you a beginner's needle felting project, creating an emoji with a cookie cutter. They can be made into fridge magnets or brooches just by putting a simple fixing on the reverse. The size of the cookie cutter is either 5 centimetres or 2 inches wide. The materials you need will be some wool batting in yellow, red and black, a 38 gauge triangle needle, and also a 40 triangle needle, a three, fel three needle felting tool if you have one, and two small drinks coasters. Needles can be purchased from HeidiFeathers.com which we would recommend, details will be below. Batting can be from World of Wool, also details below. Take the yellow batting and push this to a reasonable depth inside the cookie cutter. Take out, you will see this is around about a roving of 12 inches. Break that off and then re-put in and using your 38 triangle fix this in place by needle felting closely together. Watching your fingers of course. You can buy needle finger guards if required. I don't use them but I have many pin pricks to show that perhaps I should. This first few individual prods, basically just to get the wool to form loosely into the cookie cutter shape. Once you've done this, then you can use the three needle tool I have one here that I bought from the internet, usually less than £10, and that will allow you three times the needle felting work and that will speed up forming the disc. Again, be careful, three needles are more painful than one. Keep just pushing down into the cookie cutter. I've got a cookie cutter with a crenellated top and a straight bottom. I'm using the bottom and the top is just being um, a guide. Turn over the wool, as you can see me doing here, and then you can see you're pushing from the bottom. Basically, you're compressing the wool, making sure that all the little scales on the wool are being knitted together to form a firm base. You'll have to do this several times as you'll see, turning over and over in order to get the disc compressed. And you're looking for something in the region of approximately one centimetre. Or one and a half centimetres deep. I alternate between the three needle felting tool and the individual needle. I find the individual needle can get closely to the edge and can help to push it down very close to the cookie cutter to push the very edge down and then often use the three for the centre as you can see swapping over now. It's important to get both the edge and the centre compressed to a similar level to get a nice even shape. Don't worry if the sides look a little bit lumpy at the moment. The two drinks coasters will shortly be used to show you how to smooth those down. You could make several of these discs and then decide to decorate each one to a different emoji or just do them one at a time. And it takes around about five to ten minutes um, stabbing away to get a good shape started. As you can see this one has magnets on the back, four little magnets which fix onto the fridge and they're quite soft. It doesn't have to be a complete firm felt. You don't have to make it as firm as if you're sculpting something for a face like in a little animal. Um, but you do want it to hold together because if you, you know if this is taken on and off the fridge or used as a brooch, 
and the handling will make it fall apart. You can see the edge here is slightly um, marked and you've got creases etc but we will attend to that shortly. Keep pushing down to get your, your disc format in place. This is a real-time video, so if you want to, you can skip forward if you don't want to keep watching me. But it's useful because you can actually felt along at the same speed as me if you want to, um, seeing how you go. Now I'm going to have a little look at the sides here, and I'm going to get my two drinks coasters, little square ones, um, two that I've got, and I'm going to put the disc between the two up into the corner to give it as much of a curve as possible, and we're going to squeeze down on them, and then that's going to allow me to keep my fingers out of the way while I do the edges, and it's useful for doing small items of needle felting, like ears, um, for little animals, and small edges um, where you want to really stab away and compress the wool but you really want to make sure that you don't uh, end up with lots and lots of pinpricks in your fingers. It also helps you can firm up against the, the sides of the coaster and then just keep turning it very gently around, squeeze it again and you can see whether it's bulging out very quickly you can prod that back into shape and stab it in. Still may look, look a little bit freckled and um, dumpy, but this can be smoothed down with plenty of stabbing and changing needles to perhaps a twisted needle, which can be um, a lot smoother. This is still the 38 triangle I'm using at the moment, which is red tipped, and you can get these from HeidiFeathers.com. I would recommend their needles as um, they're very strong and you get used to the colours makes it easy to identify which is which. I don't use a handle um, for my needles, I just use them as they are. You can buy a little wooden handle to pop it into. You can see I'm turning this, get the full circle shape. not a quick process. It's very mindful. Um, it's very soothing if you're doing it. Um, certainly it's something you can't do while watching the television. So you can't be distracted. So if you do, you're definitely going to stab your fingers. Um, you do have to concentrate, which sometimes is quite nice. Concentrate on something and forget about all the other things bumbling around in your head. You can see now that the uh, little circle is becoming compressed. You can also then get to the edges holding it flat so you don't end up with like a lip on the edge. Um, you can use a three pronged tool to keep moving it along. This is where you have to use your own sort of common sense to how far you keep prodding away. It's very tempting in the early stages to stop a little bit too early because you're wanting to get an instant result. But the more you persevere, the better shape you'll get and the better firmness and smoothness to your felting. So it is worth it. Um, this is a small way of learning to do needle felting without a large project. And very quickly, within an hour, you can have achieved something that you've completed. A good project to do with a group of you, perhaps some friends, coffee morning. You can see I'm going up to the edge with an individual one just to try and get some of the um, round markers. And yes, I have pricked my finger. And that is me taking it away from the camber just to suck my finger. Usually it's a very minor prick. Be careful, you might need some plasters if, um, if you're a bit careless. Otherwise, if you have something white, it'll very quickly get discoloured. 
I'm holding my two fingers away now. I could carry on doing this between the um, drinks coasters, which would probably be a lot safer, um, but I find it useful just to be able to to do that, to get the edge, because I can actually see the shape and I can make sure I continue to push it back into a circle shape, as the, co the coasters do sort of tend to you get a little bit corners and slightly out of the round. What you don't want to do is end up with a ball, you want to end up with a flat disc. So keep making sure that you use the centre and prodding that down too. You can also find that your fingers can help to shape it. You can pop it back in the cookie cutter, giving it sort of final prod down making sure that you're getting that circular shape. You can of course use any cookie cutter, you can use a heart shaped cookie cutter, triangle squares, um, things for Christmas, do several triangles in green, add them together, make a Christmas tree. Um, heart shapes for Valentine's, lots of ideas. Once you've done one or two, I'm sure you'll think of others. You can also do an orange or a lime and then you can just shape across the white of the pith for the fruit. You can make an apple. Emojis are good, they're nice and bright, fun. And we'll teach you lots of different techniques. Again here with the edge, trying to get the um, sides flattened. You can use a 40 triangle which is a slightly uh, narrower, thinner um, needle. Um, the smaller you go, the higher the number in the gauge. So 38 is not as small as a 40 and a 42 will be even smaller. Um, the smaller the gauge, then the smoother and the tinier the hole that you're making to weld the materials together and the less you see the puncture holes. You can see some of those creases there, some of those folds disappearing with continued stabbing. Just turning it around, you can see there's a little fold there, stab away. Very quickly it's firming up and you're losing that line. There you go, it's about a similar size to the ones that I've done. Um, reasonably okay around the edges. Final touching up. Once you're happy with your shape, um, then you are going to decide which colours you're going to use and which emojis. Um, I'm going to be doing one with just a mouth, one heart and one closed eye. Not sure if that actually exists in the emoji repertoire, um, but I just want to show you how to do the hearts, um, how to do the mouth. Lips are good. Remember to make sure that your mouth is open wide so your, your tongue comes from in through the centre. Um, you can also use slight colouring because if you don't want to use pink wool for things like rosy cheeks you can get some um, pastel crayons and you can actually um, slightly bring in the blush of the cheeks um, with a sort of pink, pink wax type crayon but I prefer to use 100% wool. I'm going to just speed this up slightly. I'm just clipping the video slightly just to move us a few frames on. Um, and then I'm going to reach a point where I'm going to rub it in my hands um, and then basically try and mould it with just some of the heat in your hands. We'll just smooth it down slightly and then that will firm up so you've got the last sort of final sort of shape to your disc. A couple of little stabs just to get it into shape. Put away my triple needle. And 
going to have a look for some black, which I'm going to need. And just before that, I'm just using a purple headed needle here. Um, and this is a twisted needle. This just allows me to go across the face where I'm going to see as the front. Um, and it's quite useful um, because it also smooths as well as allowing me to squeeze the wool. If you can see, I'm taking a bit of black here and I'm just rubbing it to make a very thin slit for the mouth. And then I'm going to use my twisted needle. And I'm going to plonk that in. It looks a little bit thick at the moment, but you can kind of pull it and stretch it with your needle. Be careful to keep your needle going in and out straight though, because you don't want to break it in half. And then you should be able to just get it to where you want it, to the side of the mouth shape. Let's get half of the mouth in there, just like that, stabbing it through to anchor it. And then just clip off with a very small pair of nail scissors, any kind of excess wool just to the end. Don't try and shove it in just to use it up because you'll have a very thick edge to your mouth. Um, just sort of take that and drop that in along the side. Again, up to the other side, however you far. It's very trial and error, your own kind of, there's no point of a, a, a template or a pattern. Just take the mouth as wide as you think you need it. And then again, just snip off any excess wool. Just keep those bits, because you might need those in a minute. And then just crack. Now that's quite a thin line. Um, I might fatten that up in a minute. I want, might want a little bit more of a, a fuller mouth opening. So I'm just going to add a little bit of wool to the middle at the bottom, just prodding it in very gently. What you'll see me do in a minute is just basically hold the, that's it, in a circle. Just use the, the needle to gather it around in a circle and punch it in take the excess down there we go now you can find that you can drag and pull around the other the other issue is if you're not happy with the shape of anything you can just gradually pick it out and start again with the black either using a little pair of tweezers or just using the edge of the needle or scissors just to lift it up from the yellow surface. And here I'm just fattening up the other sides of the mouth. My first line was a little bit too thin. Um, I want to make it look like a, a slightly rounded mouth for this one. I'm quite happy with the right hand side. The left hand side's a bit wiggly. So I'm just going to pull that into shape a little bit. Using that one as a bit of a reference guide. Need to pull that little bit into it. Well, that's not too bad. That's like a happy smile. You can get a lot from a smile, certainly if you're doing little creatures or little mice. And the facial features are the thing that makes them cute and menacing. So it's important to get the shape right. Right, now the heart, just take a very small little bit of red wadding and move it towards the circle, just pull down in the centre there just so that you can just stab out the shape of the heart gently around. You can see it's almost like a little dotted, dotted shape and then you can fold in the rest of the red wool into the eye shape. The smaller you're working the harder it is so um, don't worry if, if when you first do this you have to have a few tries because practice makes perfect. Here we are. Again, watch your fingers. Um, you just use the, the edge of the needle just to curl the wool out of the way. And just get in underneath it like that just to get the defined edges because you want it to be nice and sharp. You don't want it just to be a fuzzy blob. 
try and get it down. Just keep working on it and then curling it up, getting it in the excess away into the middle. Now mine's a bit lopsided, is the left part of the heart isn't really defined, so I'm going to have to add another bit of wool here as well as pulling down into the middle. I haven't quite got the shape right initially. But you can always add a bit more wool, take a bit of wool away. Just going to put a little bit more, roll it into a little ball in my fingers first. It's very hard to get tiny bits, but uh, just put that up to the left hand side just to be able to emphasise that part of the heart a little bit more. Getting there, start to look more like a heart now. That tail of wool out of the way, stabbing it in. You don't have to have twisted needles, you could do all of this really with a, a 38 triangle. So, if you don't have a lot of choice of needles when you first start, um, don't worry. The best needle is the 38 triangle when you're starting, and then maybe a 40 triangle, which is a blue tip needle. Um, they're great for beginners. You'll get onto twisted needles and, and various different shapes as you start to understand a bit more how the wool, wool works. Almost finished this heart, taking me a bit longer than I expected to get the heart in there. Good job, I'll probably only do one for this. I might do a closed eye next to this one. Sometimes you find it easier than others. I think when you know you're being watched or you're doing a video, it's always harder. There you go, and I'm just pushing down on that middle bit just to define the tops of the heart. There, that's looking quite good. Happy with that. Now, I'm going to get another little bit of black and rub it between my fingers. Make a little slit just for a closed eye. A tiny little bit of black there. Make that as if somebody's got their eyes closed or asleep. There we go. Start to look like a cheeky little face. As I said, I don't think this is a proper emoji. I don't think it comes from the list of ones you see when you open your phone, but it's a good um, demonstration to show you how to, to get the shapes together. It's easy to keep going at something, trying to get it as perfect as you can, but do take a view that, you know, eventually it will get faster. There we go, just tidying up his edges. Start to look quite cute. So, one little cookie cutter emoji. The video is only about 25 minutes, so shouldn't take you more than an hour to get all your bits together and do it and as you get quicker you should be able to do them in about 20 minutes each um, so we've got four sunglasses cheeky cheeks stick out tongue fantastic I hope you've enjoyed this short video which gives you a great uh, idea what a small quick below 30 minute project can be please subscribe um, and look forward to seeing more of my videos. I'm going to start up again. I've had a bit of a two year break while I've been dealing with some health issues, but really looking forward to sharing some more videos with you shortly. Subscribe on the button. Thank you.